This is Tank's Vlog for January 7th, 2019. We're wrapping up the day in sports. And the end of Wild Card Weekend, of course, were brought to you by Allow Me To Be Frank, the weekly podcast you can hear on SoundCloud and iTunes. So check it out. We had a great episode last week detailing my flight home, the toilet in the living room, and... The fun stay at the rat-infested Double Molar Lodge. So check it out. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Ah, where to begin? Wild Card Weekend came to a close. And it was the Chargers going into Baltimore and winning. And the Chargers, Chargers got to watch out. They, they can't play like this next week when they go to New England. They had plenty of chances to blow this game away. But they just could not get the ball in the end zone. Maybe it was a little bit the Ravens defense. But it was uh, Lamar Jackson just having a dreadful game for the uh, Ravens. I, I mean, he is the, uh, turns 22 today, by the way, Lamar Jackson does. And uh, he just kept fumbling the ball. He kept losing the ball. He kept uh, interceptions. And this really put uh, Baltimore behind the eight ball, although they did score those late touchdowns to try to make the game close. But a lot of that had to do with the Chargers just not being able to finish the job. I mean, they they settled for field goals way too often. And uh, that almost came up and bit them. And, but in the end, one more fumble, one more strip. And uh, it was the Chargers moving on now to face the Patriots next week as both row teams won the AFC. The NFC, those magical Eagles are at it again. At it again. Last year, road, road dog, road dog, road dog. They were road dogs in the divisional round, upset the Falcons. They were road dogs against the Vikings, went to the Super Bowl, and of course, you know, once there, history is made, Nick Foles, Philly special, and it's Nick Foles again. Nick Foles, ever since taking over Carson Wentz, has won three in a row. He had to win one loss down the stretch. The Eagles are done. They're dead. They were buried. They were uh, they were given last rights. And now they're now in back in the divisional round. They'll be playing the Rams, where they've already won. Just a couple weeks ago, Nick Foles went into Los Angeles and beat the Rams. But they got a little help from their friends today. Bang! 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 Cody, the awful kicker, likes to hit it off the pole. And if the ball goes doink, he still points to the Lord. I, what is this? Is he blaming the Lord? You blame this? You kick this? I yeah, the... I hated Cody Parkey when he was the Dolphins. I hated him. Because he is horrible. And I feel for you. I feel for you, Bear fans. I mean, boing, boing, boing. I was like, it was probably the game was on NBC. Boing, boing, boing. Off the upright, off the crossbar. Of course, once again, Parkey did have those two field goals in the second quarter. Had a third one at the beginning of the fourth quarter. And it's because the Bears didn't finish drives. Did they finish these drives? You won't need Cody Parkey at the end of the game. But it was a good job. Mitchell Trubisky had his shaky moments, but it was all right overall. And he got the Bears down the field. 303 yards passing. Very good first playoff game. And then Cody Parkey. And I just I just had this feeling. Because he, he, he always hits the crossbar. Or the up by. He loves hitting the bar. In fact... With apologies to David Letterman, the top 10 unknown facts about Cody Parkey. When he was growing up, he wanted to be a telephone repairman because he got to climb the poles. His favorite country to visit, number 9, his favorite country to visit in Europe is Poland. Number 8. His wife is a pole dancer. Number seven. 
He thinks the UN is the greatest spot in New York because of all the flagpoles. Number six, his favorite Olympic event is the pole vault. Number five, while at college, Cody Parkey interned at Gallup because he loved taking poles. Number four, his favorite animal is the polar bear. Number three, his favorite all-time WWE wrestler is Doink the Clown. Number two, he always goes into bars because he thinks it's uh, the same as a pole. And number one, now that the season's over, Cody Parkey can... Fulfill a lifelong dream. He's going to Antarctica. He's going to hit the South Pole. Well, the Eagles next week will play the Rams. The uh, Cowboys will play the Saints. And poor Chicago. Poor Bears. Poor Big Cat. The Bears were done in by a kick. Who doesn't know how to kick the Dolphins? Thank you for taking him off our hands. We got a lot of players that suck, but not Cody Parkey. <sighs> Don't tell me. The, I, I just, I just. Are you telling me the Eagles are going to go on another run? Who do the Eagles want? Are they going to want Nick Foles or Carson Wentz? You can't have both. And I want either one. I, I don't care who the Dolphins get. Wentz or Foles. Incredible. Nick Foles is a magic man. Ah, NHL. Devils in Vegas. Got off to a good start. And that's all it was. was a good start. Because the rest of the game was... Like a Cody Parkey missed field goal. Scored two early goals, didn't score again, lost to the Vegas Golden Knights 3-2. It was the Arizona Coyotes shutting out the suddenly flailing Rangers 5-0. Hurricanes got their fourth straight win, beating the Senators 5-4. It was the Capitals scoring twice in the third period to beat the Red Wings 3-2. The Jets shot down the Stars 5-1. It was the Blackhawks downing the Penguins 5-3, ending Pittsburgh's 8-game winning streak. And the Oilers blanked the Ducks 4-0. NBA. It was the Brooklyn Nets. One game away from 500, everyone. One game away from 500. Can we actually make the playoffs? Can we really make the playoffs? Is this uh, really happening? The Nets are actually intriguing and exciting. <sighs> D'Angelo Russell, nice game. 28 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. As they beat the Chicago Terribles, 117-100. Tom Thibodeau was shown the door by Minnesota, and the Timberwolves celebrated beating the Lakers 108-86, to as Carl Anthony Towns had 28 points and 18 rebounds. It was the Clippers sailing past the Magic 106-96. The Hawks beat the Heat 106-82. It was the Wizards 116-98 winners over the Thunder. The Raptors... Uh, got another win, beating the Pacers 121-105. And the Hornets stung the Suns 119-113. Monday night is your college football playoff. Third time in four years. We'll be watching it. the uh, Alabama taking on Clemson. Uh, they split their two meetings previously, but Alabama also won the semifinal last year against the two teams. Uh, these two teams seem like on a collision course all season. 
I have my pickup at Barstool Sports, so check that out now. It's at Barstool Sports, my pick for the uh, college football playoff. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, I like, uh, I, I have to lean to Alabama. I just think the experience factor will be the difference as Trevor Lawrence is a true freshman. I think Alabama is just such a deeper, outstanding, just on every level of the game, just an absolute complete team. Hope I'm wrong, but, ugh. Today's three stars are... Melvin Ingram, who had seven tackles, two sacks, and a forced fumble for the Chargers. Cam Talbot with his 39 save shutout against the Ducks for the Oilers. And Nick Foles, who is just magical. Today's birthday shutout goes to... Hmm, Fumbles McGee. Oops, I mean Lamar Jackson, who, had, who turns 22. Got to hold on to the ball better if you're going to win in the playoffs. I know he was just 21 yesterday, so uh, he, he had a good year. The Ravens only lost one game down the stretch with him in there, so we'll see how it ha develops. But he's got to watch out. These games like this can't happen too often. And it was 1999 when the NBA's first lockout came to an end as the players and owners came to an agreement on the day in which was the drop-dead date set by David Stern, so if there was no agreement reached, the entire 1998-99 season would have been canceled. So check out the Barstool Sports uh, website to see the uh, full story, and go to the Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. And, of course, listen to Allow Me To Be Frank, the weekly podcast you'll enjoy on SoundCloud and iTunes. Good day.